ladies today we're going to talk about all things face and I started with the uh, cleanser the daytime moisturizer and then my eye cream uh, you want to start with your daily skincare routine so that you're adding the moisture into your face and you're also uh, getting a smooth surface for your makeup to apply I also always put on my silk primer uh, you don't have to have a silk primer with our makeup products, but when you have large pores or wrinkles, it helps to make a smooth surface and it will leave your skin silky. We have two options for your face makeup. We have the color correcting tinted moisturizer that gives you a light coverage and we have the foundation that gives you a medium to full coverage. They both have an airless pump so you will not waste a drop. And they both have 120 pumps per bottle. And I tend to use one pump per application. Both of these act as a mechanical shield. So think of throwing a t-shirt over your face to protect your skin from the sun. They are both anti-aging and they will last you all day long. So today I'm gonna show you what the CCTM will look like on half of my face and the foundation on the other half of my face. So you can see the difference in how the two finishes look. Starting with the color correcting tint and moisturizer. So I'm gonna use half a pump since I'm only doing half of my face. I use a stippling brush to apply my makeup. And what stippling means is that you are pressing it into the skin. So I'm not, um, swirling it like this. I'm pressing it into the skin so that it will give, give you a more natural uh, full coverage look. I use the color light for my CCTM and as you can see the side that has the CCTM it canceled out all the redness uh, on my face, but it left me with a natural look. So here you can see the redness and it was also on this side. Okay. Now we're going to apply the foundation the exact same way. the side-by-side -side comparison. This side has the CCTM which gives you more of a light coverage and then this side has the foundation which gives you the full coverage. The foundation is going to give you more of a blank slate. If you have any breakouts you can use the concealer. This is the light and I consider it a magic eraser. It is creamy and I just put it on the areas that I may have breakouts and then I will stipple it in to cover the redness. Step, I'm gonna show you how to correct the color under your eyes. I'm going to be using a concealer and a shadow sense. I'm going to show you two ways. The first way is very simple and easy. And I'm going to use a setting brush and stipple it in just like I did the CCTM and foundation. You can see I'm going, dragging it out into a V shape or upside down triangle. That's going to elongate the circles under your eyes and it's going to... Next up, I'm gonna show you how you can use concealer and white shadow scents. I'm gonna mix the two together, and this is going to give you a brighter look and more of a glow under your eye. Next part I'm gonna show you is completely optional. Our makeup does a great job of setting on its own, but if you are oily, something like the translucent powder can be great at combating the oiliness in your skin.
That is all for today. Tomorrow we're going to talk about contour and blush. That's going to give dimension to your face. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.